Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Mountain World SMP. Right now, the first legendary I've ever been around has officially spawned, but I don't see him. I'm in the ocean actually looking for tentacruels, and I'm- who's next to a beach? I hope that I am. I- I don't know. I think this is just the ocean. I don't think I am. Dang it! I- I think- oh, I think he found it. No! My master ball was stolen. No! You gotta use the ultra balls! You gotta use them! Yeah, I'm not near it. Ah, oh, so it's a beach biome. Which, the only one that I'm aware of that spawns on a beach is actually a uh, Suicune. So... Oh, someone stole all their ultra balls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's sad. Um, it's Suicune. So, that's who I'm thinking it was. He might be over here. <laughs> kind of hoping. I don't know if they actually found him. Do you... It's Suicune. Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I could give them ultra balls and I'm not against doing that. I'll TPA to him. I'll actually give him ultra balls because I think that he wants to go capture him. So I'm like, okay. It, let me grab that just in case he does TPA me. I want to be nice. I don't like... Like if I... If a Suicune spawned near me, I'd be spamming people to be like, Yo, could I get ultra balls or get some help or something like that? So if he does want ultra balls, he can have it. I don't mind. It's not hard for me to capture some, get some. It's actually fairly easy, especially with the mechanical anvil. And I have 58 on me right now. Guys, I did- Okay, I wasn't ready to record. I'm actually watching football right now. And, uh, apparently there was a, uh, a nice little- uh, Whoops. <laughs> I forgot to do- <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I totally forgot to do the, 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 the smart thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh. So there's a legendary that spawned in a deep ocean biome. The issue is- What is it? I see a Scyther down there. I don't see a Kyogre. Oh, there's a Lugia. Oh, oh crap. Okay, I think he's got it. I think he's going for it. Okay, that was weird. Like I was so confused. I was like, Deep Ocean, does that mean it's a Lugia or a... Wait, it's gonna work. Oh, he doesn't float up to the top anymore? No. I mean, I can send out Tentacruel at least, which is kind of helpful. We need to catch up to this Lugia. Look at him. It's a Lugia. We're in a deep ocean right now, so, like, I can't get anywhere towards land, but... Or, like, I can't get on land and then fly. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I think there might be enough land to where... I mean, if you get him, he's yours. Okay. I'm not against that. Um, just getting to him is gonna be an issue. Is there any, like, land over here? There is land over there. I see it. I see trees. Alright, there's a Mega Blastoise, too. But I saw... Yeah, okay. I think we're good. I'm gonna go over here, grab the land, and go on a Dragonite. And we'll Thunder Wave him, and then uh, Caesar Fall Swipe. That's the idea right now. I, I want to get off this tentacle so bad. All right, there he is. Let's try taking him on. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I, I've tried that so many try times. Try throwing it from. Oh, does he have it? No. Nope. All right, I'm gonna take him, <laughs> or not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come here, Lugia. You fat. You whale. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we get Thunder Wave, and then we should be able to fall swipe. He's got Weather Ball, which is already not a great sign. He's level 70, so he'll be able to take Wing Attacks, no problem. If he doesn't, I don't want this Lucia. He's got Gust and Weather Ball. Oh, look out, world. My Caesar will be able to come in safely right now. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more Wing Attack. So now I think we're in the range of if I crit, I knock out. So I am going to switch out to... Caesar. I just want to make sure that Caesar doesn't take too much damage and just be able to false swipe him down. Okay. There we go. He's gonna be in he's gonna be at, so what false swipe does if you guys don't know, it's like a 40 base attack. It's a normal type move, and it doesn't allow you to knock out a Pokemon. So like right now, this would normally knock him out. It leaves him at one HP. He's paralyzed. There's 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 no better odds of me capturing him. Like he's paralyzed. He's at 1 HP. I'm going to sit here for a while. I'm going to continue watching football. The Patriots are playing the Buccaneers, and I want to watch it right now. And we're going to capture him after about 40 Ultra Balls. I have 57 more. <laughs> I, I have 57. Let's pray. I haven't seen him get paralyzed once. Not even once. And he's breaking through. he's breaking free every single time. Um, I think I just go to Dragonite. Dragonite's at least got the, uh, 
the leftover so I can heal a little bit. But let's hope that he starts, like, uh, paralyzing and doesn't knock out all my Pokemon. Because, god dang, that would suck before I'm able to capture him. So I've seen his four moves. He has Gust, Rain Dance, Weather Ball, and Gu uh, and, wait. Gust, Rain Dance, Weather Ball, and Hydro Pump. Which, three of those have ten or less PP. Gust, luckily, has 35, so he shouldn't be struggling to death by the time I'm done with my Ultra Balls. So we should be able to capture him, right? That's that's the upside right now. And he should be paralyzing himself a ton, but I think I've seen him get paralyzed once. At least that I noticed. I could have very well just skipped over a bunch. But every single time, it's got to hit the water in or the Ultra Ball, and then it's got to go to the bottom, and then it starts shaking. So it's just taking a while. The rain stopped. Oh boy, he could rain dance again. I want you guys to know that I did the math, and if this is the X and Y catch rate, I have about an 8.1.8.124% chance of capturing this Lugia with every Ultra Ball I throw. Throw 23. With those odds, I have a 50% chance of catching him after 9 balls. So I'm calling this is a load of baloney, because I've done that three times, well, almost three times now. I've had... Two and a half, fifty percent chances, basically. <laughs> I hate this, and and at least a ninety-five percent chance of capturing him within thirty-six. Thirty-five percent. I hate legendaries. I hate them with a passion. This flute isn't making me feel any better right now. I feel like he's gonna struggle soon, even though I know that he's not going to for at least probably ten more turns. <sighs> this flute isn't making me feel good. Oh my god! I hate the tease. I feel like that was a three roll. There's some that are just like, oh, catching, 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 and waiting, waiting, waiting for so long. And then it's just like, oh, nope, pops out. Like, that was probably a two shake. Like, I feel the difference between a one shake and a three shake now. That's how many balls I've thrown. We are officially over 36 balls thrown. I was supposed to have a 95% chance of capturing them within 36 balls. I started with 57, I've done 38. I hate legendaries. I hate legendaries. I love Lugia, but I hate- but Stop texting me. I don't like being texted. I'm slowly going insane. This is soul crushing. This is actually soul crushing. This is actually crushing my soul. Why is this Lugia just not getting an Ultra Ball? It's an Ultra Ball. What do I do? I can't do anything else. He's at 1 HP and paralyzed. And he's just breaking out like there's no issues. I'm ready to go on a rant. All right, guys. Officially, wait, no, this is my 49th. This is my 49th Ultra Ball. This is going to be my 50th. 50. 50. Why? I thought that was it. I really thought that was it. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Are we serious right now? I got the glitch too? I got the glitch where... Okay, well, that's it for me and Lugia. Ah, uh, so I ended with five Ultra Balls. He's gonna try battling him. I don't know if he's got a flyer or not, but hopefully he'll be able to get to him. I'll give him my five Ultra Balls if he's able to get into the battle. He's getting so close. Well, I've learned my lesson. We're buying 64 Timer Balls. Because I'm never going through that again. I'm ready for Legendaries. Also, I didn't actually buy them. God dang it, H. <laughs> My inventory was full. Where are they? Okay, so I've been actually like out looking for legendaries, and I just got back on the server. You guys see something uh, uh, like on uh, my screen that doesn't like look like it belongs anywhere? There's a pink Wobbuffet! What the heck? I wonder traded one of my fampies, and we got a shiny Wobbuffet! This thing has been popping up nonstop. 
you received a study of what where where where's like the full thing? Current water trade pool contains a hundred pixel mon. One of those is shiny. So I had a one in one hundred chance, a one, literal one percent chance of getting the shiny, and I actually got it. A shiny Wobbuffet for a level one Fampy. Because I didn't want the fan because I have tons of them. Rich Boy Winston, give me some money. We got the Amulet Code and uh, Charizard. I'm not going to use it because it's a freaking... Oh, look, it's a Charmeleon. Because it's a... Whatchamacallit? It's a Wobbuffet. And Wobbuffet's no fun to use. So I'm not going to use it. But that's so, like, random and... Un well, not unlucky. I was going to say unlucky. But lucky. Oh, that makes me feel so much better after failing the Lugia. Um, right now, the guys are fighting a Suicune. Um, let's see if we get age. Like, I literally just popped on the server. We, a legendary just spawned. So they're fighting them. I told them, if you guys need any balls, just let me know. Uh, if they don't have the Pokemon to capture them, like, the good stuff, we'll try capturing a Suicune. But hopefully they're just able to capture him because he wasn't my legendary that I found. I have not found a legendary on my own. I, I've never seen a legendary spawn. I spent an hour this morning just going over oceans, looking for a, another Lugia, because I was upset with how the last one went, because that actually did frustrate the heck out of me. I, I don't get it. I really don't get how I didn't capture him. It, it, 50, I think it was 51 total balls were used, all at 1 HP, paralyzed. There's no reason why he sh oh, you jerk. He shouldn't have been caught, but I guess I'm just unlucky. Ah, you little monster. Do not quick attack. Okay, good. <laughs> I would have been so tilted if he quick attacked me. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Suicune. He tried. He did. He wasn't able to capture him. I don't know if my luck's gonna be any better. But like I said, I do have Timer Balls this time. Dragonite's a higher level, so he shouldn't be going down. Caesar is a higher level too, so we shouldn't have too many issues. Uh, not being able to do it. I, would X Scissor knock out? No, it shouldn't. But I'm just gonna go for the false swipe. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I don't even think a critical hit. I, I forget how like bulky Suicune actually is. Was that a crit? No, it wasn't. Ooh. Ooh, it wasn't. False swipe. Since Andrew, get out of here! Okay, so we'll be able to get him down to 1 HP, no issue. And, uh, he'll be paralyzed. It just comes down to if he'll be able to actually get in the Pokeball or not. We do have Timer Balls this time. So, I think we're on, like... I think it's, like, turn 15 is when it maxes out. So, we'll use, like, hopefully... Um... Let's say, like, 15 Ultra Balls. That, that'll be easy enough. Then I'll start chucking Timer Balls at him. Oh, if people stand in front of me, maybe that'll make it go quicker with the Ultra... Wow. He, it, he didn't even, like, get in the Ultra Ball. Like, the Ultra Ball hit him, and he just brushed it off. That's how quick that was. Three? Oh, no! That was our first three time shaking. Okay. We're sending it back out, Dragonite. So, hopefully, like, Dragonite can just sit here, eat up... Uh, what are they called? Eat up, um, like, bites and stuff like that, and then heal with leftovers so he doesn't end up getting knocked out. Yeah, bite doesn't do that much. And he's paralyzed, so there's gonna be turns where he just doesn't attack. So I think we should be fine. I've seen Tailwind and Bite, and that's all I've really paid attention to. What was that? That was Bite. Okay, yeah, those are the only two moves that I've really, like, processed that he has. <laughs> We're almost at 10 Ultra Balls, so soon enough we'll start chuck chucking Timer Balls. There we go, he's paralyzed. Alright, I'm chucking Timer Balls now. Maybe not. That didn't even, like, shake once. We'll do, like, two more and see how many times they shake. It should be around the 10th, because I feel like we did a lot of X Scissors and... Well, we did one X Scissor, but, like, Thunder Wave, Switch Out. We should be past the Prime for Timer Balls now. So we should be good to go, but they're not even, like, shaking once. One, yeah, or once. Really? All right, slash end battle, uh, slash poke heal. I could try again and see what happens. Okay, he's in battle, it looks like. Okay, so we'll let Vernon go again, see if he's able to capture him or not. Oh, we could press L? Speak when you just buy- Oh, this is awesome! Wow, I didn't know you could actually do that. Huh. All right, second time. I, I guess I need to start getting, like, sleep and stuff like that, or just, like, yawn. And start actually like putting him to sleep. We'll keep at, we'll wing attack him a few times. It looks like he's gonna have the same move, so Dragonite probably will get knocked out. Huh. H, can I borrow your scissor? I have a uh Yeah, we'll give it to him once uh we're done with trying this one out. I don't wanna wing attack him any more times because if we critical hit him, then we're in trouble. Uh let's false swipe. Literally have thrown two ultra balls, and not one of them has shaken more than once. That was our third. He didn't even get in the ultra ball that time. He's not even going in the Ultra Ball. 
What is happening? Is that a, a... It's probably a graphical glitch. Let's... Yeah, he's not even going in the Ultra Ball. Alright, game. It's not shaking more than once. It's just immediately popping out, so I don't know if it's broken. Oh, no, it's in there. Okay, so that time it actually went for it. Like, I think that shook twice. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! 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 Oh, got him! Oh, finally! Yes! Oh, thank God! Oh, my God! I had no confidence! <laughs> I had no confidence <laughs> at all. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's take a look at this little jerk. Stats, he's giant, docile, so no nature or no different things. Bite, ice fang. Oh, he had leer. I, that was his fourth move. Oh, let's take this guy out. We caught him in a timer ball. There he is. Oh, Suicune's at least one of the coolest. Oh! I forgot that I can ride him. What nature? Docile. Oh, gotta take caps. Docile. Neutral natured uh not the best nature but oh but we got a suicune ivs let's see uh slash iv is it ivs six is that how it is uh 106 56 percent 56 percent max uh max hp max attack and speed Honestly, terrible IVs. <laughs> um, well, I mean, the HP is good. Uh, HP is good. Attack is terrible. Speed is meh. Mainly, you want him to be a bulky monster. Uh, so, yeah, as there's like, meh. Yeah, it was just meh. That's all there really is to it. Oh, slash poke heal. Very true. <laughs> Redemption. First thing I'm doing is buying the seven timer balls that I use. I want a stack of them at all times. I demand exactly a stack of timer balls. How much money do I have? 100k. Oh! Oh! Where is it? You have unlocked... Yes! Yes, we can auto-hatch. That is awesome. Just hatch? Hold on. Okay, so what do I want to breed right now that I'm like, ooh. Let's try something. Let's try getting a good totodile. Um, ditto, give me these two. Slash breed H bomb two and three. Then we do up. Then we do up. And then we do slash hatch four. Do we do slash hatch four? Is that it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's a command time down. Ah, okay, that's fair. That is actually very fair. Oh, we gotta pick me. Not a good nature, though. I don't know if there's something glitched out in my game or not. Um, but I wanted to show you the IVs of... So it doesn't look like I have any perfect IVs in, like, any of my Pokemon that I normally use. Other than now... Yeah, no, none of them. Other than maybe uh, Suicune, which I don't think I'm going to end up using too often. But IVs of Charizard are a complete duck egg. I don't know how that happens. That has... To be like the worst. I don't know if that's just a glitch. I feel like that has to be a glitch because it's shiny or something like that. Well, let's try this out. We have two other shinies, or I have a few other shinies. Let's grab you. Ivy's two. Uh, Ivy's two. No, this Pidgey has not great Ivy's, but Ivy's at least. Ha! Huh. My shiny Charizard has a whopping zero IVs. But guys, that's all we're going to have fi time for today's episode. We did capture a Suicune, which I'm very happy. Suicune is one of my favorite legendaries. It's just one of the coolest. I do prefer... It's actually, like, it's still one of my favorite uh, legendaries, but it's my least favorite dog. Little did you know. Raikou is my favorite. Entei is my second favorite. Suicune is my third. But I do love the dog, so it does even out to be one, one of the best. I do like... uh. Suicune's all sorts of glitched out. There we go. <laughs> it was like set down twice for whatever reason. I just love the dogs in general. Uh, but anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video. If you do enjoy this series, be sure to leave a like. And I do have a playlist on my channel. If you ever want to go back and watch older episodes or catch up from the beginning, be sure to go to the watch that link. Just jump up on my lap and is now getting comfortable. Thank you, Link. Anyways, get out of here. <gasps> Yenoglin.